when the downloads come, I don't miss them, okay? We don't have to pay attention to people who are blind. We are led by spirit. And so when we come to talk, we come to talk. And when you see the fire get riled up in fire mama, you just have to understand that the work has to be done, okay? Chucky, who speaks so freely, have to be watching every other word to make these contents. Them lucky. I'm glad you're working. I'm glad you're working with Chucky now because Chucky cannot be used. Chucky is not a fool. So Chucky is going to be the one to deal with them. Yeah. I'm glad you're working with Chucky. Because Chucky, I always talk about Babylon and Babylon boys. And Chucky always say, listen, I'm free. Freelance Chucky. Yeah, big up yourself, Chucky. Greetings, everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell some personal stories. And at the end, I'm going to make an appeal. For those of you who are on my channel for a long time, you know that when I have these conversations, you know, or call names, um, it's usually for a purpose and it's not with bad intention. But this story with Chucky really moves me. It's a personal thing for me. I don't know him, but his story and the things surrounding his story, you know, just sort of act as a trigger for me. And there is a lesson for all of us to learn in it. So it's not about coming out and saying this person did it and this person is guilty and this person is innocent because we don't know and you know everyone is innocent until proven guilty we were just trying to ask questions and get people to think about it and perhaps to maybe cause some people to make to mess up because when you had fire and heat it makes people not just nervous, but it makes people make mistakes. And we want people to make mistakes. But having said that, there are people who are now looked at and could possibly be innocent. But they, make a, they made a mistake. They made a mistake in the past. And it's that mistake that is riding them to this moment. Now, I grew up with my my aunt and I thought I was a good daughter to her never left her alone had to go to Jamaica every two years at least to make sure she and her husband were okay when I left from the parish that I came from and went to another parish I always made sure I go back and check in on them and because these were the only parents I really knew of course, I had my father. That was my father's sister. And my father was always in my life. But, you know, they were the ones raising me. And when my mother, or the woman who played the role of mother, passed away, my sister um, took everything for herself. I used to call her to... Um, investigate on how we can continue paying the taxes for the land and she always had an excuse because in the interim she was putting it in her own name and people I walked away I went to Jamaica in 2006 and I remember picking some oranges keep in mind oranges were falling on the ground and I would pick them up peel them and add some more to them and bring them to the school where I was teaching and give it to the kids who didn't have breakfast. Those kids were struggling. And I would also sell some of the oranges and I used that money to start a breakfast club in the school. Those who could afford it, bought it. Those who couldn't afford it, got it for free. And that sister, um, when she realized what I was doing, she sent her son one day when I was getting some oranges and every orange that my nephew chopped, sorry, picked and threw on the ground, she let her son chop them and throw them away. He 
keep in mind this was my mother the place the property didn't just belong to her it belonged to me as well fast forward i got into a business endeavor with my father and sent thousands of dollars to my father and he pretty much squandered it and what he gave me was a room and a bathroom and um it was very hurtful i went there i spent more money trying to make it livable and you know run electricity in the house run running water in the house you name it and i had a fallout with my father and um of course i moved away and the home that I built together with my father, a biological brother who has his own, stole it. And I'm not going to get into any more details. So when I speak about wicked family members, really of a fact, I am projecting my own experience. Having said that, I'm going to say, Having said that, I'm going to say that because it's such a customary thing to happen in Jamaica where families destroy each other over, you know, personal possessions, they'll take your own, they'll set you up, they'll harm you. This is why I was asking the questions, okay? But in this video, I don't want you to stay on that tandem to say this one did it or that one did it or whatever i want to also say that our people are very trusting of other people they don't like each other you know but they're very trusting of others and uh they have this warm and welcoming thing about them when it comes to inviting people from other places especially if the people from other places are from different races so when these individuals come in they are they're embraced they're loved they're respected they're given the benefit of the doubt which oftentimes we don't really give the benefit of the doubt to our own people this is why I'm making this video to say listen all our speculations all our questions are just meant to find you know, these individuals who are responsible for the passing of this gentleman, okay? But I'm going to say to Chucky's daughter, you got set up. And because the vibration and the energy you came with was not a positive one, it wasn't a good one. This is why you allowed yourself to be drawn into a web because guess what happened? Simon had an issue with your father and regardless of what was going on between you and your dad you should not have allowed simon to put a camera in your face and allow you to say the things that you said he didn't force you to say those things you said it on your own volition but you don't understand what simon did see now simon is no longer in jamaica and as long as you live even if you're innocent there will always be a shadow over your head because you were the one who came out and said all these negative things. And I'm hoping that you and your dad made peace. He seemed like that type of person. He probably would have made peace with you. He said, let bygones be bygones. If that's his nature, you guys probably very well made peace with each other. But because you made that mistake of coming out and speaking so disparagingly against your father to a white man. And he's not there anymore. He's gone. Now, Simon came and did some good things for your father. Help him set up his Airbnb. Help him, I'm sure, because he's doing his channel his friends from around the world 
you know, will trust his judgment and they'll come forward because he was promoting it. And he, you know, your dad is not the only one that he's done that for. He's done it for other um, people. But Simon is a very slick guy because Simon is a type of person who will be so cunning in the way he exposes people. When Simon came to Jamaica and went to Chucky and set up Chucky Airbnb and helped him with all these things and also did the same thing for Moko. What he essentially was doing without saying words is to say, look, these people are being exploited. Here's how it's done. So because of that, we cannot, and people are going to forever love Simon. But it doesn't change the fact that Simon is a human being and Simon, Simon resent the fact that he was treated that way. And girl, he used you. Now, when you look at Simon's page and Simon, listen, I've spoken positively about you on this same channel. So if I'm going to say something that you perceive to be negative, hey, you have to accept the good with the bad. When people were speaking terribly about freelance Chucky, Simon never shut it down. You look in the comment section and you see he never shut it down. When they said that he, you know, someone got robbed or whatever, that was not shut down. There are individuals that if you hurt them, they will never come out and speak disparagingly about you. They'll just get someone else to do it for them. And so you find yourself in that situation, girl. And because Jamaicans around the world know all too well about what it's like to be double-crossed by their own loved ones. People are into their feelings. People love your father, no doubt, girl. So this is a lesson to everybody. Careful what you're saying. There are times when I feel like saying some things about the people who stole my possessions, stole for the things, the things that I worked so hard for. I could say some things, but I realize sometimes when you're hurt and angry and you're saying things, someone who also disliked the person you're talking about could go and do harm to that person. And because you said these things, you're the one that people will be looking at. That's why we have to be very careful because sometimes there are some enemies, you know, in the background. And when you open your mouth and you say the thing, they operate from behind the scenes and everyone looks at you suspiciously. So this is where the negativity is as far as Chucky's daughter is concerned. What happened, happened. There's nothing you can do to change it. And I'm going to be the last one to tell people to come out and explain anything to anybody. You don't have to. You learn from your lessons. If you're an innocent person, here's what I hope for. Those who are innocent will be exonerated. And if you're innocent, but because you said something that the world looks at through their side eye, you have yourself to thank for that. In this video, I'm going to appeal to some people who have gone through some terrible experience with families, especially when it comes to ripping them off or setting them up. And I have stories after stories after stories of individuals who got set up by their own people. Call, call me, send me a WhatsApp message or leave me a message here and I'll tell you how we can have this conversation. Sometimes things happen and we don't want to just dwell on what just happened. We want to talk about it and hopefully learn people learn and change and grow. It's just not stopping. And I'm going to also say that the individual, uh, my own brother, that pretty much made fake will and took over the home that I built with my father, and having all kinds of plans for it. That person was there when my father was in the house, deaf from his ears being clogged. His ears.
ears was clogged with wax and he was initiated and sores all over his body and he never did anything to help him. My father would go to bed hungry and he had children, daughter live next door to him and had his son. These people are evil, wicked people. They couldn't wait for him to die so they could take over his property. And I saw it in a vision before my father died I saw the end of these ones and that's why I stay cool because listen, I was getting all riled up and angry. I'm going to get my lawyer I'm going to, and the spirit said, who gave you permission to do this? Back off. It was not easy to back off. This is why we have to just wait for not just karma. We wait for justice. We wait for the universe to align itself so that justice can be served upon people who do harm to others. I'm going to leave it right here and I'm going to come back. The people has come. They want to hear the truth. And we're going to speak the truth. There are many people who are hurting at the hands of their own. And this is why I'm talking about this. This goes beyond just what happened with Chucky. This is about justice and rights and freedom and healing our people and our nation. Girl, you join force with a stranger against your daddy. And it was a wrong thing to do. That stranger is no longer there. You're left looking this type of way. Make peace. I don't know if you can, if you made peace with your father before he passed. Um, forgive yourself. Because it doesn't matter if someone else forgive you and you don't forgive yourself. You forgive yourself. And try to do better in the future. Stay blessed, everyone.